Okay, so the problem is, you have a stack of bricks. How far can you move these bricks in such a fashion, such that you get the maximum number or the maximum amount of lean from the um, the point here? So the first thing you try would maybe be, let's separate them all by the same distance. See how far we can get over. So you may think that it'd be impossible to actually get further than say half the length of a brick without the thing falling over. But in fact if you stack them in a special way you can traverse uh, an unlimited distance in that direction if you have enough blocks. So the way you do this is by trying to make the bricks follow a harmonic series and effectively what you're doing is you're trying to, to get the centre of mass of everything above the brick underneath aligned with the edge of the brick underneath. So I'll explain this better later but just I'll just show you now that it's possible with these few bricks to actually build a structure that is that leans beyond the length of, of a single brick. So the way we do this is put that one to about there, make the next one smaller. This is quite tricky with these bricks. Next one smaller still. Next bit bit smaller. Next one smaller again. And here with these few bricks you can see that the edge of this brick is actually either in line with the bottom brick or over. So we've gone from having half a limit of what we thought would be a half to actually a whole brick. So this brick at the top is completely hovering but it's still standing up with no glue and no fixings anything. This is just holding itself together with, uh, with the structure of under gravity. So this is about as far as we're going to get with these bricks because they're imperfect, they've got rounded edges and um, the, the material they're made out of won't necessarily be uniform in density. So let's go and see how far we can get if we use some theoretical bricks. Okay, so we've seen what we can do with real bricks. But real bricks suffer from imperfections like the sides will be all dinted and, and misshapen the material that they're made out of uh, is not perfectly uniform and um, you also get rounded edges and things like that that means the surface isn't properly in contact um, between the bricks but what about if we move to a theoretical brick or a mathematical brick a brick that has perfectly parallel and straight sides um, and is made of a uniform density material and perfectly uniform so every little bit of it is made out of the same density of stuff and if we had another one it would be exactly the same completely identical in every way what would we do now to then start stacking these bricks to maximize the um, the lean for the number of bricks we have piled on top of each other so we start by finding the center of mass of this brick now this is here it's half the length of the brick so if we put another brick with its edge lined up with the center of mass of the brick above it then we'll create a structure with two bricks which is on the edge of stability so it's just stable it's at equilibrium so if we put that brick there we get a tower height of two we get a lean of half the length of the bricks and here it, this tells you what the last brick added and this so this last brick added a lean of a length over two and the number of blocks is up here Okay, so we've created this new structure now with two blocks. So as a whole, this thing is stable. This, these two blocks are stable. So let's calculate the center of mass of these two blocks. So there's the center of mass of the old blocks, the green arrow, and this red arrow is giving you the center of mass of this structure here. So if we were to put a third brick underneath this block, 
with its edge lined up with the center of mass of this structure above it, then we, again we would have a stable structure and we would have something that would stand up itself with no glue, no fixings or anything, just holding itself up with, with its resistance to gravity. Okay, so let's put that in. So, with this extra block that we got here, this gave us uh, an extra lean of L over 4 and it's now 3 high and we've got an overall lean of 3 quarters of the length, 0.75 times the length. So let's add another block. So the center of mass of this structure now is here. Add in another block and here we go. Now this time we only got L over 6. Now you might be seeing a pattern here and we'll come into that in a second. Now, now we've got a tower height of 4 and we have a lean of 0.7. So we're nearly at a whole length of lean um, with uh, with only four blocks. So let's add another one. Center of mass is now here. So we put in the new block, and that gave us L over eight. So you can see this is this is decreasing every time you get less and less and less, and it's actually one over two to the n, um, or two times n. Sorry. Uh, so each it's it's part of the harmonic series. So it go it gets smaller and smaller every time. Um, and now we see with five blocks we're able to actually come past, have a lean which is greater than the length of the actual original brick that we started with. Now what we'll do now is I'll let it go through and um, add in some more blocks by itself until we get to two times the length. See it's going to go and add there and you see that gap getting smaller and smaller every time. It's going down by one oh, it's going, this, this denominator is increasing by two every time so the gap's getting smaller and smaller. So to get to one length we only needed five blocks but to get to two we're going to need a lot lot more. So we're going to get there in the next few blocks. Here we go, just over twice the length and that's with 32 blocks. You see now the increase now is is the length over 62. So you can imagine in real life if you were trying to build one of these structures, actually aligning it up to that level of accuracy um, to the, to so precisely to get the length over 62 is going to be pretty tricky in real life. So you're not actually going to get that. So let's let it go again. Um, and we'll see if we can get it to three times the length and see how many bricks we need for that. Okay, so we finally got to three there, three times the length, um, but that took 228 blocks that time. Now to give you an idea, uh, the uh, the number of blocks you need to go to the next level, so four times the length, that's going to take you um, 1,675 to go again to five times the length that's going to go up to 12,000 and this thing actually follows a logarithmic curve so even though that um, the, the extra increase you get for every block is approaching zero it never actually gets to zero so that gives you the interesting case where you can have an infinite lean with an infinite number of blocks. Now that in itself is impossible, but the interesting thing is, is that there's no limit on how far a tower can lean if you can build it high enough with enough blocks, which is, is pretty crazy, really. So if we want to actually look at the mathematics a little bit and um, get into the details, then if we set n is equal to the number of blocks we've got, and the lean sub n to be the lean we've got with n blocks, then the recursive relationship between subs adding subsequent blocks is the lean of n plus 1, which is the lean you'll get with an extra block, is the lean you've got with the previous number of blocks plus L over 2 times the previous number of blocks. So you, the extra bit you get every time is this L over 2n. So let's try that with a couple of examples to see if it works. 
so we've got the lean with two blocks is equal to the lean you get with one block plus L over 2n. So in this case, the lean we get with one block is 0, and the L over 2n, n is equal to 1, so we get L over 2. So that gives us a lean of L over 2 with two bricks, which is what we were looking for. With 3, lean of 3, lean with 3 bricks, we get we need to take the lean with 2 plus L over 2n again. So that gives us L over 2 from the previous one. Then we get n here is 2. So was that's the number of blocks we had before. So that's L over 4. We add those together and we get 3L over 4, which is what we, we got before. And another way of expressing this, uh, and another way to show that all these little bits that you add, um, these L over 2n's, smaller and smaller but they still keep going is to write the um, the, the the equation uh, in its in its absolute form so, so so without the recursive bit and then you get the lean of the the lean with n blocks is equal to the sum of l over 2n when that's a sum from 1 n equals 1 to big n so that is the, the number of blocks and that sum there, if you've ever done any maths, so you'll know that that is not does not converge. So it's not doesn't have a finite sum. The sum of this series is infinite, which again means that with an infinite number of blocks, you get an infinite lean. So it's just one of these quirky things in um, statics and mechanics. You get uh, an infinite lean with an infinite number of blocks, and there's just no limit on it. It's quite impressive. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.